What is a Kajal? It's a super intense black eye pencil. It's been around forever. I love being able to show you how many different uses there are for a Kajal. You want a nice, slippery surface to work with. I like adding eye primer or foundation. You can do something so purely simple by lining that waterline, the inside rim, both above and below. Once you've applied the black Kajal, just brighten those inner corners with the brightening Kajal. And that's your look. It's that simple and it's that strong. The power of the Kajal, it can take you from just an application at the waterline to actually an eyeliner. When you're trying to create a wing, just eyeball where your lower lash line would go as you extend it. That's a good guide for where does that wing go. Once I apply the Kajal, I can actually perfect it with One of the most frightening things for most women to do is a dark, smoky eye. The Kajal can take you there. I like taking the Kajal and basically using it as a coloring crayon and then using a synthetic brush to start blending out right up and slightly extending beyond the crease. Then I love to set it in place with powder and then a the little bit of black eyeshadow. So once I've applied my black eyeshadow, I took a very small eye smudge brush. I applied black powder at the lower lash line to give almost a slight gradiated effect, and that really creates that statement eye. A little tip. Oftentimes, when you're working at a fast pace with dark shadows, you get fallout. So if you have loose powder under the eye, once that fallout happens, you can dust away all of that excess, and it stays clean. With this black smoky eye being so strong, I think it's really important to keep the rest of the face really soft. No color. The lip I even toned down a little bit, added even a more nude lip color. And that to me is exotic and at the same time a little bit playful.